Let's take a look at how we can use JASP to do a simple independent samples t-test. When you first open up JASP, it's probably going to look like this. And uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is to get your data in there. JASP likes to work with CSV files. So here I have my data already. It's in a uh, CSV format. And um, we're just going to need to get into JASP. So we'll go over here to this file tab. You can see I've already had this here in the recent uh, files, but otherwise we can go to computer and browse uh, to the desktop, and there's our data right there. We can take a look at the data. Here you can see it's uh, in two columns. There's a treatment column and then calories. So here we have the dependent measure. This is what was actually measured. And here is the treatment condition. So in this uh, data set, there were children who either did participate in making food or did not participate in making food. These have been coded with ones and twos. And here is a measure of the child's calorie intake. Actually doing the t-test in JASP is very, very simple. Uh, all we need to do is uh, go up here to the t-tests button. And in this case, uh, we're going to choose the independent samples t-test. And this uh, sets up the results for us over here, results table. And now all we need to do is to enter our variables into the correct boxes. So uh, if you're familiar with SPSS, this is very much the same format. We'll put our treatment variable here as a grouping variable. And calories go over here as the dependent measure. And hey presto, there are our results. JASP keeps things nice and simple, but there are a couple other options we can look at over here. Uh, just as a, as a default, I've taken the student's t-test, but uh, you have a couple other options there, can, depending on your data. Uh, hypotheses, we can choose um, between these three. Um, uh, normality checks, we can uh, throw that in if we want to. Uh, and there we go. Uh, JASP calculates that for us right away. Uh, we can look at effect size, confidence, intervals, uh, so we can add effect size here, and uh, JASP just adds that to our results table. And if we want to uh, include a little plot here as well, then we could take a uh, descriptives plot uh, with 95% confidence interval, and JASP will do that for us as well. Just as a final note, it's very easy to get these plots uh, and tables out of JASP. Uh, you can just click on the little arrow here and uh, choose copy. Now this plot is copied to the clipboard and ready to paste into your paper. Happy t-testing and remember to involve your children in food preparation.